Hey guys, welcome back to A Complicated Melody. So I have the Glitter and Ice Haul Part 1. I'm sure I will go back and pick up some more, but I was invited to the launch that they had at the Mac store here. And um, as I did last year with the Tartan Tail, I was able to get a sneak peek at the collection um, before it came out. This is... Um, you know, some of the products that I picked up, I didn't pick up any of the little sets that they put together. I typically don't because there's something in there that I probably will not use. Um, and so I usually don't buy the, the little sets, even though um, it is great for other people if you have, you know, the products put together and you can kind of get it at a deal. Um, so what I did pick up was a lot of the color products, um, which... Um, I picked up the paint pots, a couple of mineralized eyeshadows, um, all of the technical pencils, and some dazzle glass, and some lipsticks. So I'll start with the paint pots. Um, I picked up all three that they came out with. Um, I'm a sucker for paint pots. I love paint pots. Um, and I believe these are all limited edition. This one is called Let's Skate. It's a really cute pink color, light pink color. And um, I was just kind of sold on them before I even got them. Um, just because I love paint pots. But that is what it looks like. It's just a nice light baby doll pink. If you're interested in the packaging, just because the pictures, uh, when they first kind of came out, um, it was kind of hard to tell what they look like. These um, are the kind of matte finish tops just like the black ones. Um, they don't have any sparkle or glitter to them but they are white. The next one is called Morning Frost and it is a gorgeous um, kind of light like a light lilac color. Um, very metallic and it's a nice it's just a um, yeah kind of very very light metallic uh, lilac color. The next one is called For Effect, and it is a, um, I wouldn't say black, it's almost near black. It's more like a charcoal color with sparkle. And it's very, very creamy. These are all very, very creamy, but this one is just very smooth. And it's what I used as a base in this look right here. So it's a really nice uh, paint pot color. So I picked up two of the mineralized eyeshadows. Um, I picked up Shimmer Mint, which is the green one, and Winterized. Winterized is um, more of a mix of like purples, like a taupey purple color. And then um, Shimmer Mint is what I used on my eyes in this look. And it is a light mint green color. Uh, what I will say about the Shimmer Mint one is that it has a lot of fallout. But the color is so pretty. Um, and I knew it had fall out in the store. I saw it when I swatched it. It was kind of like flaky. But I just thought it was such a pretty color that I could work with it. Um, you know, to make it work. So that's, there it is swatched. And then Winterize um, doesn't have a lot of fallout or anything like that. It's more of like a satin finish. And um, it's kind of, like I said, taupey purple, um, so, but it's very pretty. I like it. Uh, there wasn't many other, I think there were six total colors that um, came with the mineralized eyeshadows. And I just wasn't a huge fan um, of the, any other colors. They had a lot of light, bright colors. I like very light pink, very pale colors. And um, I just wasn't interested in them. But um, you may, but they, so if you, th those are colors that you're looking for, this might be a good collection to find these. Um, but I did really like this winterized, and again, on this packaging, it has silver on the, the Mac is silver, and this one is a shiny white plastic. So I'm a sucker for eyeliners, I love eyeliners, and so I picked up all six of the Technicol um liners and these are automatic liners so you don't have to sharpen them and so this first one is called silver skate and as the name suggests it's a silver liner and there it is watched this one is a black called smooth maneuver this is the one I've used it as you can tell and it's just a black and it's very smooth 
is not super dark, but it's a good black. The next one is a teal color called Practice Makes Perfect. It's a really nice uh, teal green. I've used it in this look as well. So the next one is called Fancy Moves. And it's a nice purple color. Uh, it's more of a great purple. It's a very pretty light purple color. The next color is called Going for Gold. As the name suggests, it is a very, uh, it's a gold, but it's a very light gold as you can tell. Um, and gold is a really nice gold pencils, nice, nice creamy pencils like this are good for the lower lash line and inner corner. Um, so even if you can't really see it on the top lash line, you can use them uh, in other ways. And uh, gold's a really nice one, especially during the holidays. Uh, this one is called Seasonally Spicy, and it's the brown. And there you have Seasonally Spicy. That's just a nice brown. So next I have the Dazzle Glasses. And I've grown to love shimmery lipsticks I've or lip glosses. I've never really been a huge fan of shimmery lip glosses. But there are a couple times I come across Dazzle Glasses that I really, really like. Um, and so these um, three that I got um, are all kind of more pink based. And these are the um, two that were really kind of more colorful color ones. Um, this one is a little bit more sheer. It's what I'm wearing now. Um, this one is called Dressed to Dazzle. I did mean to pick up Glitter and Ice. That one is a more um, nude base one and I um, accidentally forgot to mark it off on my paper. So I definitely would be going back for that when I swatched that. I loved it. Um, and so, but I like this one too. So maybe it was just meant to be for me to have this one. But this one is a pink, more pink based one, like a pale pink. And as you can see, it's not um, the pale pinkness isn't super opaque but um, these do come with the um, wand instead of like a doe foot thing um, and this one as I said is um, pink based shimmer color but it's sheer so the next one is called love alert as you can see it's a bright pink um, and it has more of like pink shimmer to it slightly kind of bluish bluish glitter um, but it's really really pretty bright pink one so there you have uh, the swatch of love alert right there in the middle so it's that bright pink so the uh, last dazzle glass that I have is called spanking rich and it is uh, more of a deep purple um, and this one has kind of um, kind of a goldeny toned shimmer to it I don't know how you would explain it but it's really pretty. That's what it looks like. And there you have the swatch. And then lastly, I have two lipsticks. Now the one thing about this is that one of the lipsticks I marked off accidentally and this was not the one that I wanted. And the other one I did want initially but I think I'm going to return. So um, I'll just show them to you because um, I know for sure I'm going to return one of these and so double spin is this light shimmery pale pink color comes off very 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 pale and gives you that Tyrone Bigums look with the ashy lips and so definitely was not even on my radar to pick up I just accidentally marked it off um, if you are a more pale skin tone maybe it'll work for you um, but yeah anybody any woman of color is probably gonna look not so great um, so yeah, mm. when I got it, I was like, ooh, and then I swatched it and I was like, oh God, maybe, yeah, it was just a total accident. I was supposed to, you know, get this one, so I'm going to return that. And then the other one is called Such Flare, and it's a bright red. Um, the only thing is that it is supposed to be a matte, but it's not super matte. And I have Ruby Woo and I have Eden Rouge from the um, Mateen collection. So, I don't really need this red. So, I believe I'm just going to bring it back because I don't need it. Eden Rouge is so, so close to this that I don't need it. But, if you need a red, this is a cool red to have. Again, this uh, packaging is uh, the, the shiny white plastic with silver writing on it. 
Um, so unfortunately, I got two lipsticks that I'm not going to keep. So unfortunately, I'm so, I have these two lipsticks that I'm actually going to return. But you at least need to see what they look like. Um, but the one that I wanted was this deep uh, pink color and um i forgot the name of it but anyways that's the color that i wanted so i'm gonna go back and get that one for sure i'm definitely gonna go back and get the glitter and ice dazzle glass the actual dazzle glass with the name uh glitter and ice and then um i think that's about it um i didn't see anything else that i really really wanted but it is an interesting collection overall i was not as excited as i was with tartan tail i think tartan tail just uh was a little bit better to me um but it is an interesting collection um the whole glitter and ice lots of shimmery um bright glittery you know products it's really cool um but the lipsticks were pretty much a letdown i wish they would have had better lipstick colors um uh but i think that's about it so if you have any questions just let me know again this is a look that i did with some stuff from glitter and ice so just look for the tutorial it'll probably be probably be after this video um so after a couple of days you should see the tutorial for this uh thanks again for watching guys see you next video